man. I've been, I've been rich since I was born, man. I heard that rich, rich spirit. Rich, rich in spirit, dog. I love it. So those incentives were, were nothing that were on your mind or conscious of at all before, during, or after? No, not at all. I didn't really want to be out there thinking about it and trying to do more than I needed to do, you know. Um, I've been playing this game a long time, so let it come to you. You aware of them after the fact? Oh, of course. I had guys on the sideline and, um, you know, some of the coaches uh, were, were keeping me reminded, uh, reminding me of what was going on. Would you like to be a part of a, a spoiler situation? I know you weren't here last year, Dima, right. but you were division one. Okay. Yeah, no, I can tell. I can tell. Uh, I don't think it matter who we play today. I feel like we're going to go out and, uh, you know, have a victory. What we practice, the way we prepared, our mindset today, obviously it had to be uh, a spoiler game for, you know, for, for them. That's football. You've been, you've been clear that it's not about you, it's about the team, but how did it feel for your teammates to celebrate you hitting those incentives that way, the way they, they showed you up? Oh, man, it felt good. It felt good. Uh, you know, me hitting those incentives and those guys cheering. I feel good also being part of what Derrick Henry did today, uh, making history. What you upset like? with yourself at all that you didn't complete the throwback pass to Ryan there? Yeah, I am. I pride myself on being a quarterback. So, you know, I was a middle school quarterback. What's so, it after your touchdown? Because you slapped five with some of the fans in the crowd. Mm -hmm. just, we don't know what's happening next. But I just try maybe how the fan base embraced you and if it's all about the future. Nah, I, I, I live presently. I really don't think about the future. Go out and control what I can. I've been playing for a long time. Going on my 12th year will be next year. And uh, I think these fans have embraced this team uh, and, and a lot of new players in the way that we kind of expected. Coming to Nashville, just hearing, uh, you know, how they treat people, how they treat, uh, I guess, football players or stars or whatever you call it. So, uh, you know, coming here, uh, it was it was kind of better than I expected. Just the love that, that you get going to the grocery store, uh, just going out, restaurants, uh, you know, it's a great city. Did you guys have a sense on the sidelines of, of, of it having some meaning for Derek today? He kind of thanked the crowd afterwards. And nobody knows what's going to happen, obviously, but you know, it might, it might be. Yeah, of course. I think Derek is going to get that same ovation no matter what the game he had. Derek's one of my favorite players to watch. It's been, uh, to me, one of those dreams come true to play with a guy in the NFL who's going to be in the Hall of Fame and who plays like he plays, especially as a running back to be able to do what he's doing at uh, you know eight, eight or nine years. It's incredible. And, uh, I don't think he's going to stop anytime soon. What have you learned like about him this year? Close to you and, and Derek, what is that relationship meant to you? I mean, it meant a lot. Him and I worked out together before I came here. So, you know, we kind of joked about this situation happening. Uh, I don't think he really believed that I would come here, though. <laughs> um, you know, but I always know I wanted to play with a great running back, uh, you know, especially being later in my career. I mean, I can, I can handle the load, but it definitely helps when you got a running back who can go out there and make things easier on you on the outside. What have you learned about him this year? Uh, man, I learned that uh, he's compared and, you know, he might not talk a lot to y'all, but you know, sometimes he can't show up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said you call him a Hall of Famer. What, what, I, I know he obviously the stats, but what do you see that makes him that kind of kind of guy that maybe we don't see? Uh, I think y'all see it too that he's a Hall of Famer. I don't think that's. I don't know how how you. Well, y'all don't think he's a Hall of Famer? No, no, I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about the numbers. I'm talking about just the work ethic, everything that, that we don't get to see. Oh, that, okay, yeah. okay. Um, Man, how focused he is, how he uh, he helps other guys get prepared. Tajay, uh, the running backs as well. He's uh, he's supportive of his teammates. He's, uh, he's not a selfish player. He's not a selfish teammate. Uh, he wants to win. He's competitive. Uh, but I, I would say how he treats others in the locker room, new guys, older guys. Uh, he, make, he makes everyone feel like, like they've been part of his family uh, as long as he's been here. Control this game, so that was a whole plan. You had a pick. Uh, Sean had a pick too. I mean, I guess that's what you need to, I guess, to change games. How, how big do you think those two were in your mind? Uh, they were just, you know, big, big moments in the game. Man, like you said, uh, we would have had a few more maybe early in the season or play here, play there. Maybe the season would be a little bit different, but at the same time, you know, we just 
today that was our whole focus was just going out there, play together, play smart, and let's finish with class, let's finish together, regardless of what anybody say. Let's just go out there and play for each other. Do you feel like you guys had the juice early? You know, they, they obviously had a chance to win the division here, you guys. Didn't have as much to play for. How come you guys were the team that looked like you are playing harder? Just our conversations in the locker room earlier this week. We knew that this was our last um, really guaranteed game that we could play. Um, you never know what happens in the all season. You never know. You'll never be with the same group. So it was just going out there playing for each other, having fun, rather than thinking too much because our season's already over, but we had a whole lot to play for today just to show each other that we really care about each other. How good a read did you have on, on your pick? Obviously, Karen, you see it clearly from the beginning? Uh, man, you know, I, I got to give it to Aziz a lot. Uh, Aziz, he made a tackle, uh, kind of knocked the ball in there, and we were both reading the same thing, so I definitely got to thank Aziz for that, too. For you personally, ending the season with an interception like that, how nice does that feel for you as a player? You know, it definitely feels good, uh, and it, I think it feels better just because we got the win. Uh, that was just like our main focus, and when any time you win, everything feels better. Playing spoiler in Jacksonville with every day you have, is that anything you guys were focused on? Yeah, it's always when you are playing a divisional opponent, you always want to just knock down their season the best way you can. Uh, nothing against those guys because they're a uh, heck of a team. Uh, they came out there and played, played hard, but if we had the opportunity, of course we wanted it to be us rather than them that could possibly go to the playoffs. But, you know, now that we came and got the win, now we can both be doing the same thing. I mean, you talking about the goal line stop yeah. or the well, either yeah. I mean, stops all day. I mean, yeah. stops all day. Yeah, man, it felt great. Honestly, it did. Uh, you know, just being able to fly around one last time with those guys meant the world. Honestly, um, obviously, there was mistakes. There was really good plays. There was bad plays. But I mean, you gotta enjoy it all. You know, when you just had the opportunity. Any extra at all, like denying Jacksonville winning this division on your home field? You wanna know the truth? Yes. Absolutely. They gotta meet me in Cancun. So I mean, you know, they. Payback. I guess that's what that's what you call it, right? They got us out last year, so um, it was only right we, we returned the favor. What should it say about the character of this team? You know, everybody's saying quote unquote nothing to play for, but yeah, you know, I mean, you guys fought your ass off today. Yeah, it's just resilience, man. I think uh, like you said, everybody just fought, man. I think uh, we fight for each other and we just play for each other all the time and it shows. You know, we show up every day. Every day of work is fun, you know, and, and that's not common, especially in this league when you're, when you're not getting wins. So, um, yeah, man, I just enjoyed the moment. Your pick, or were you surprised Lawrence threw that ball? Say it again. Your pick. What, what, what happened on that play? Were you surprised Lawrence threw that ball for you? Yeah, it reminded me of one from Baltimore. It was just air and I'm a ball guy, so I just like to always look at the ball. And, uh, God gave me one. Sean, walking in here, it felt so joyful yeah. right after the game. What does this atmosphere mean to you? Uh, I was, I was, you know what? I was really pretty emotional when I came back in, you know, because it's not every day you get an opportunity to show up and be around people that you just enjoy. You know? So uh, before I get emotional again, I'm just gonna say that, and so I don't get, I don't get clouded on the internet. Um, it's definitely a blessing. I was. Just sitting around the whole game, just praying to God and, you know, just thanking him for every opportunity that I had and also that my teammates had. Um, you know, it's been a rough year. The way we ended it, I think that was the best result that we can get out the season. How good to send Derek and Ryan out this way with a win if it was his and beat the end of them? Uh, that, that was big because those guys, like, they, they contributed a lot to this program and to this organization. So uh, that's, that's definitely big. The way, the way Derek ran today, I mean, it, it seemed like his mindset was, if this is it, I'm gonna go out with a bag. How about the way he ran today? Yeah, I feel like you know, you know, as a running back, it just be, it just, it just be kind of, you know, be kind of tough sometimes. I feel like he ran like that all year. I just, I don't feel like he saved his best for last, but you know, he did real good. That it, it, it looked like he saved his best for last. How about you saving the best for last? Can I know, I think I did though. I think I, did. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna give it up to the big boys though, man. First is the first time you and Derek scored in the same game. Just what did it feel like um, having both you guys going at once? It, it kind of felt like we were going back and forth. I feel like my second play should have the time, but I don't call the plays. On the touchdown catch, where'd you learn those tightrope moves around the sideline there? Oh, man, I, I've been working it all year. It just came to life today, so I don't know. So, Jay, what would you say is one of the biggest things you've learned from playing with Derek this season? Um, what's the biggest thing I've learned? He's hard on himself, and, you know, he had to save each other for myself, but um, he's very, like, um, he's very, like, he, he's very efficient. He, all the details matter to him. He, you know, he acts, you know, he acts like what he could have did on every run to improve, even if it was a good one. So like, uh, he, 
be full of details. You had some moments on the bench, obviously, when you guys were down there, defense was out there. Any anything you kind of just embrace that being there next to Henry here, possibly for the last time with him. Um, you know, like some people look at him as big. I, I look at him as my brother. You know what I'm saying? So that's my brother. So I don't, you know, I don't see him as a superstar. I see him as a brother. So like, um, it's definitely cool, like you know, to like be a part of history with him. You know, in whatever, whenever, whatever way I can. But it, it's, you know, that's my brother. You can catch it something. It's also, you know, obviously, we talk about the same stuff every single week. Um, and nothing was different. I think just able to put it together. And, you know, Better later than that. So, uh, it, was, it was just awesome. Was everybody fighting. Uh, and, you know, I couldn't, I, I really can't even say too much about it. How, about, how good did it feel to get that stop at the end on defense? Man, it was awesome. Uh, you know, like, guys were challenging all day, playing hard all day. Um, so to come up on top at the end, I mean, this game could have easily went the other way, just like it has many times a season. We've been in positions just like this. And we came out on top, but we've lost more than we came out on top. So, to win this one, uh, it was it was pretty cool. You know, it, it felt pretty good, man. Just last, last game of the season, uh, just the fight and everybody, you know, everybody telling us we got nothing to play for, and you know, everybody just like I told you, showing up. So I'm grateful for, for all the guys here. You talked earlier about hey, uh, if I can't have it, they can't have it. How good it feel to deny Jack's <laughs> coach on your own field? I don't think that felt as good as it did just you know getting a win with the guys. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I just learned in my life that love is stronger than hate. So I think my love for everybody in here was more important to me than you know my hate for them. I could care less, honestly. I just want to win, not win because I want to stop them from doing something. Yeah. That's just I guess the cherry on top, but more so because how hard everybody in here works. So uh, I'm just more so proud of everybody and happy that we're able to. It's been such a long emotional season. Is it kind of a sense of almost relief that it's over and you're able to go out with a win? Uh, I, I don't think relief because whenever somebody else is still playing football and you're not. It don't feel like a relief, you know, it feels like a little letdown. But um, like I said, just grateful that we were able to finish on a high note uh, and finish the season. As you were walking in here, it felt so joyful. What does this environment mean to you? Uh, I mean, it means everything. Obviously, like, I know earlier in the week, uh, Grable, you know, asked him a question like, why? Why do you want to win or whatever the question was? And, you know, he kind of snapped. He's like, because I hate losing. It's like when you lose, everything that you do is magnified. Everybody talks about the negative. You know, you got one guy that goes to, you know, a couple guys that we get. Derek goes to the Pro Bowl. And Coach talked about it like, you see all the winning teams had the most Pro Bowl guys, the most accolades, the most love. This is how it works. So when you're not winning, people kind of like, just overlook everything and just focus on the negative. So when you get wins, like everything feels so good. Like it changes everything. How you go home, the text messages you get. So, you know, it's just just an overall joyful feeling. How about Derek?